Welcome guys to another video in the channel. We are back again with another video and we are doing Premier League predictions, match day 10 now of the Premier League. And as always, as every week, as a reminder, if you haven't already joined my FPL League, go do that in the description box down below. You will find the link to my Fantasy Premier League team. And uh, these are the winners on the screen now. And I may give a prize or I may not give a prize. I haven't decided yet to the winner of that league. So if you want to have a chance or some chance, I don't know, of winning something, um, join the league and make sure you get top. So let's get straight into the predictions. First of all, on the Friday night game, it's Crystal Palace versus Newcastle United. We are going to have a quick look at where these two teams sit in the league table. So first of all, Crystal Palace. Now, Crystal Palace, they're doing all right this season. You know, they're not doing too bad. They're not doing, you know, too well either you know they're sitting 11th at the moment in the premier league above arsenal even they're sitting in 13th position uh, sorry 11th position with 13 points uh, 11 on with the likes of arsenal nine games played um this they've scored 12 goals and conceded 13 so this they are conceding a lot of goals in crystal palace and looking at newcastle however they are sitting in 15th more in a relegation battle i would say um because you know callum Wilson hasn't been playing for them and then joe linton hasn't been improving in the premier league either after joining last season and uh, Newcastle are with 11 points after nine games and if we do go back into match day nine uh, we are going to have a look at what Newcastle um, score was and they lost 2-0 at the hands of Chelsea Federico Fernandez in the 10th minute scored an own goal before Tammy Abraham in the 65th minute from an assist from Timo Werner uh, got Chelsea a 2-0 win against them so Newcastle they had a good bit of run at the start of the season but um, right now it's just not looking very good for them but there's always time to pick it up but Crystal Palace on the other hand they had quite a shocking defeat feet uh, at the hands of Burnley actually because you know you do expect Crystal Palace to win but Christopher Wood in the eighth minute um, scored and Burnley managed to hang on in that game to give them all three points but in terms of this game um, versus Crystal Palace and Newcastle I do think it'll be a Crystal Palace win I just think they have a lot of quality uh, with Newcastle being unable to score many goals at the moment I think Crystal Palace will win this one 2-0. Next game in the Premier League is Brighton and Hove Albion versus Liverpool. Now again, this is going to be quite an interesting game because obviously, as we know, Liverpool, they have got a lot of injuries at the moment. But the likes of Diego Jota, you know, he has been performing extraordinarily extraordinarily well for Liverpool at the moment and uh, if any player you want to put in the FPL team or anything you know Jota is one player to always put in there he's in my team I think he is anyway um, but we are going to look at Liverpool in the table and right now they are sitting in second um, same points as Tottenham but only by goal differential they've got five and Tottenham have got 12 that's why they are sitting second and um, if we do look at Brighton and Hove Albion they did pick up a win in their last game so they've got nine points out of nine games sitting in 16th position um, they are five points off the relegation zone so I don't think they'll get relegated but you know Brighton do need to pick up some good performances but again it's going to be hard against Liverpool but they've got a lot of injuries so it's not impossible and when Aston Villa beat them 7-2 you know it's again as I said it's not impossible and um, saying that Brighton actually beat Aston Villa quite surprisingly um, Danny Warbeck scored in the 12th minute before Ezri Konza uh, equalised in the 47th minute before Solomon March in the 56th minute got the lead back but Tarek Lamptey did get sent off he was in my FPL league I got minus one for him but uh, Brighton did pick up three points against Aston Villa who again performing very well um, you know doing very well in the league table obviously got the win against Arsenal so for Graham Potter that's a brilliant win for them uh, but again in this game versus Liverpool it's going to be very difficult for them and again I don't see Brighton getting much out of this game like the Jota and obviously the normal front three of Liverpool it's going to be very difficult which is why I have to give Liverpool the win I will give them a 3-1 win in this one. Next game in the Premier League is Manchester City versus Burnley as we all, as we said already with Burnley they did pick up that 1-0 win versus Crystal Palace but we do look at Manchester City but you know they've had their worst start since I think Mark Hughes is it uh, sitting in 13th even behind Arsenal with 12 points yes they have the game in hand but still you know Manchester City for their you know standards for the amount of money they spend in the transfer window was still quite a lot despite a global pandemic you know they've been doing quite poorly and they really need to pick up their form but again a team like Burnley you know they're a team that if they do go in front it's going to be very hard to break them down because defensively they are really really good but I think Manchester City they have a lot in, in the attack and I think they will have too much to be um too much they'll have to, i think they'll have a bit too much for burnley which is why i will give manchester city a pretty comfortable 4-1 win in this one next game is a very interesting one indeed and it is everton versus leeds united now with leeds united we're going to look at first they did play arsenal in their last match day a nil nil draw not very entertaining there uh, but we are going to look at everton um and everton in their last match day sunday 22nd november they beat uh, fulham 3-2 in a very tight game in which calvert lewin scored a brace 
place. Um, Abdullah Decore adding a third for Everton, but Bobby Reed and Ruben Loftus Cheek did also score for Fulham. I forgot Loftus Cheek actually paid for Fulham. I, I forgot he went out on loan to them from Chelsea, but now I know. Um, looking at the league table, um, Ev- Everton, you know, still doing pretty decent. Actually, I have to say they're doing all right. Nine games played, sixteen points. Um, yes, they did have that dip when Hamid Rodriguez got injured, but at the moment they're doing all right from themselves. And you know, when we do look at this game as a whole, um, Everton versus um, Leeds, I think Everton probably will win this one just for the fact that I think they have a lot going forward and Leeds haven't been that great this season. Yes, obviously they just got promoted, but you know, I think I think I think um, Everton will win this one. A Calvert Lewin, Hamid Rodriguez, and Co. You know, getting the job done for Everton, which is why I will give them. It will be a tight one. I'll give a one 0 win in this one. Next game is a very like relegation battler. This one is um decider, relegation decider possibly, and it is West Brom versus Sheffield United. Migusta mucho or whatever the memes are. But at the moment, it's not. It's looking like a bit of a meme for Sheffield United at the moment, sitting rock bottom, one point. 20th where was that defense that did so well for them last season it's just fallen apart from chris for chris wilder second season syndrome for them and again it's looking very bleak for them but west brom however not doing very well themselves three points off uh, nine games sitting in 19th so again this is going to be a very big game for the two sides uh, going into this one and again match day nine um didn't look the greatest um west brom you know only losing one nil to manchester united but on the other hand sheffield united they lost one nil to west ham so you know it the worst results for them but it was still three points lost and no points gained so you can't really say much good about that but i think in this game i think i have to give it a draw i just don't see much in this one two teams struggling i think both managers will say you know this is a perfect opportunity to get points but i think it's going to be a very difficult one and i will give this one a nil nil draw next game is southampton versus manchester united now obviously we looked up with manchester united they did just about get past the west brom with a one nil win uh, bruno fernandez Fernandez, and Vardy. Manchester United, whatever you want to call it, Bruno Fernandes scoring in the 56 minutes to give them a 1-0 win over West Brom. But we are focusing on Southampton as well, but looking at Southampton's last result, they had a 1-1 draw at the hands of Wolverhampton Wanderers. Again, um, in that game versus Wolves, um, Dio Walker actually scored in the 58th minute, rolling back the years as they put it. I didn't watch the game, but that's what they said. 75th minute, uh, Pedro Neto, super sub, coming on in the 70th minute and making an instant impact um, with equalising for Wolves. Wolves, and that leaves Wolves uh, with 14 points, nine games played. Um, on the other hand, um, with Southampton, they're doing quite well as well. Fifth place, 17 points, nine games played. Ralph Hasanuto is getting a good grip out of these players. Um, but again, if I have to say on a whole, uh, who would win this game, um, Southampton versus Manchester United, I would have to say um, probably a draw because for the fact that you know United aren't doing very well against teams like Southampton, Crystal Palace, the, these sort of teams, you know, they're not great, but they're not that bad. Um, these the sort of mediocre clubs and I think uh, Manchester United tend to struggle and these teams tend to know how to get past them so in that respect I will give Manchester United and Southampton a 2-2 draw next game is Chelsea versus Tottenham Jose Mourinho going back uh, to Stamford Bridge to face um, Chelsea and it's going to be a very interesting one a huge huge game obviously Tottenham beating 2-0 against uh, Manchester City a big statement you know they are going for the title this season believe it or not if any Arsenal fans are watching they are going for the title and uh, it's going to be um, a very interesting league if they're actually going for the title but let's just hope they bottle it as always but again it's going to be a very difficult one and with obviously Chelsea you've already looked at um, they beat Newcastle 2-0 uh, in their last match day so again as a whole Tottenham sitting first as I said and Chelsea in third with 18 points nine games played so I think it's going to be a very interesting one but again I just have to give it to Tottenham they're playing so well at the moment they've got so much depth in their team they're playing so well with so much fluidity you know I'll praise them when it's it's due, you know, um, and for that reason, I will give Tottenham a win in this one. It'll be tight, but I'll give them a 2 on win. Next game in the Premier League is Arsenal versus Wolves. Now, we'll do a separate um, preview for this game after Arsenal have played in the Europa League. Uh, so, this will probably come out Friday morning if you are interested. So, look out for that and uh, that should be coming out then. But again, Arsenal not going into this with great form. Uh, sitting in 12, 13 points. But Wolves doing not much better with 14 points and 9 games played. So, yeah, uh, I'll look at this more in depth with predicted lineups for Arsenal in Friday. Moving on to the Monday night games. First of all, Leicester City versus 
versus Fulham and I think this is going to be a pretty obvious game to be honest and uh, we were singing praises about Liverpool obviously but again they did very well for themselves um, they picked up an easy win sorry Liverpool yeah Liverpool and uh, they picked up an easy win against Leicester City but again Leicester City they are playing a Fulham side who again just have been quite poor this season 18th place Four points, yeah, it's going to be a pretty easy one for Leicester City. If it's anything but a win for Leicester, they will be very disappointed. You know, Leicester will be very disappointed from that uh, loss versus Liverpool in the manner they lost it in, obviously, the own goal as well. Um, but they sit with 18 points, four, a fourth, and uh, believe it or not as well, they are going for a title And uh, because they've got the players to do it. You know, they've got some brilliant players for Fana. We got the wrong Senetian defender, believe it or not. We got the wrong one. We should have got for Fana. And, uh, you know, with the likes of Unda coming off the bench even, you know he's not even starting games with Vardy banging in goals left right and center as well it looks like a very uh interesting one with Leicester and personally I don't like to see it um but again yeah it's gonna be an easy one for Leicester I'll give them a 3-0 win in this one last but not least West Ham versus Aston Villa Aston Villa as I already said they lost 2-1 at the hands of Brighton as I said West Ham they beat uh, Sheffield United 1-0 so again um again both teams will be going into this game with a lot of confidence but on the league table Behind, uh, you know, West Ham are sitting in eighth after their win versus uh, United, sitting in eighth with 14 points and nine games played. And uh, Aston Villa with the game in hand, sitting just one point above them, 15 points, uh, eight games played, and sitting in seventh. So, again, it's going to be a very interesting game. I do think Aston Villa will come back, they've got a lot of quality in their side, and I think, um, I think Aston Villa will prevail in this one. And I think I will give this one, um, a three, you know, a three one win actually. I think West Ham will score, it's going to be a three one win for a three one win for Aston Villa so that is it for today's Premier League predictions what do you guys think um, if you have disagreed or agreed with any of my predictions leave it in the comment section down below see you guys in the next one bye bye